Okay, the video is done processing. All the changes are saved. Okay. Looks like all we have left to do is to put in the title. Save that. All right, people are gonna love this. What is wrong with my computer? Oh my god! I'm the product of what happens when you post something cursed as f Call me Delito. Delete this shit! Yeah! Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> hey, what's going on guys? This is Star Blast Studios coming here with a brand new figure review and today guys We're gonna be taking a look at the new demonical fit base form and Super Saiyan Vegito head sculpt set Now I gotta say that I've been really looking forward to this I know my buddy Hunter has also been looking forward, uh, forward to this and it's honestly a really cool set I did a little bit of an unboxing with this already uh, with my friend Hunter SHF or Melmec like effects on Instagram So if you guys want to go ahead and check it out on my Instagram, but for the packaging, you go, you do got the general uh, artwork right here with Vegito on the front, and then you got the trucks on the back, and that's pretty much it. So, without any further ado, let's get this thing out of here. And before we get the figure out of here, just so that you guys can see, here is the actual casing with all of the accessories displayed inside, but here we go. Alright guys, so here we got the Vegito head out of the packaging, and here we are starting with the base form head. Now, I'm really liking the colors that they did with this head. It looks... It reminds me of the exact same colors that they used on the SDCC exclusive Vegito hairs. And I'm glad that they went with this color as it's accurate to the anime. And it just looks really good all around with the sculpting and everything like that. And just the way that they went about the faces, it just looks incredibly clean. Looks just like an official SH Figuarts, which is what Demonical Fit is a master at. Just making it so that all of their faces that they make look incredibly official. And they just did a really really good job with this. So the smirking face is not the only thing that comes with this. We also have a looking to the side screaming face which they only did specifically for this form as it's meant to make make that recreate that scene where Vegito he comes out and he's like Yosha! But the only thing the only reason why it's not quite as accurate as I feel like a lot of people would want it to be is that they pretty much took the looking to the side screaming face for the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and just made it so that it's like this because and because of that, he's not going to have, like, that smile that goes with it. To me, personally, like, I'm not incredibly bothered by it, but I almost feel like I, if it's not going to be as completely accurate to Yosha, I would have preferred them to go and make it so that the eyes are looking straight. But since there's already an, an amazing array of faces to go along with this, I am not incredibly bothered by it. But for the other facial expressions... Here it is with the teeth grid face. Now, when it comes to this face, I don't feel like they quite nailed the look of this as cleanly as they did with the other faces. Like, when compared to the Super Saiyan Blue face, um, something about this seems to be a little bit off. I think it, I think what it is is basically the, um, the line work that goes in the little bit of the teeth right there. Like, it's not quite as clean as it would be as captured in the SH Figure Wars, but still a really good face overall. And, uh, another thing that I actually um, notice when it comes to this set is that when it comes to all of the bangs that that the that you would interchange, just like on Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, the difference here is that when it comes to this face, it's actually also removal. So all of the bangs for like each and every single uh, thing is um, is interchangeable, making it so that it can be used for like that windy hair bang. It's not too much of a difference, but I, I like that you can still have a little bit of play factor with the actual faces um, with and the actual bangs like that. But for the last and final face of the base form head, we get ourselves the stern face, which I think is going to definitely lead a lot of people into wanting to get this set as a stern face did not actually come with the original Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, but it is included with all of the forms. Like, heck, when it comes to this set, you even get a special stern face to go with the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, and they definitely, with this set, as as you're going to see as we continue on with the review, is that these new things absolutely add in a lot of value for your money, and I definitely love that they made this stern face. It looks really, really good, too. Like, I'm surprised how well this just came out, but yeah, moving on to the rest of the other faces. And since I was already talking about it, we might as well mo go ahead and move on to this face. Um, now... I definitely think they, they matched the colors up incredibly well. They did a really good job with that. But the one small issue that I'm having with it is that this face, uh, because of the fact that the pegs are not as big as the pegs that would go 
uh, to the official faces. Um, the it, it results in the face being incredibly loose and easy to take off when posing this around, and that it can that can get really finicky uh, when when doing so. Yeah, yeah, just as you can see right there, just moving the head down, it gives you a little bit of that go tank syndrome, unfortunately, with the actual face, but. Other than that, you know, I'm really glad that they went and made it. You know, you can still pull off a lot of really nice poses with the actual face. And it definitely, again, makes it so that getting this set is also, like, essential if you need a stern face for your Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. And I think this is going to work the best out of anything. Now, when it comes to the Super Saiyan hairs, you pretty much get all of the exact same faces I showed off for the base form. Except for the fact that when it comes to their Super Saiyan head, you do have the eyes going and looking straight. Now, when it comes to the detail and how they went about the, the shading and, and everything on this hair, I really like the way that it looks. It looks like how um, the Customizer B's custom did his Vegito custom, and it's like you almost have this exact same kind of uh, head sculpt for everyone to go and, and get and not have to go through B's customs. And I really, really am liking the way that uh, this looks. Now, um, there is actually another uh, demonical, not demonical fit. There is another Vegito head, third-party head sculpt set that came out a little bit ago, and that was by Class E Adventure. And the way that they went and handled the Super Saiyan hair is they went with a much more gold metallic finish for Super Saiyan. So I'm gonna say that in terms of what you prefer for the Super Saiyan look, that is entirely subjective. But someone who I think compares the two and really gives out a lot of the information is JP Toys. And he did a really good job uh, giving those two like the comparisons that they had. So I will leave a thing on the top over here if you guys want to go ahead and watch his video uh, comparing the sets. But yeah, um, uh, in terms of like what what's done over here, I actually really prefer like the matte yellow finish. And it's not just because like uh, I went and got this set and I'm automatically biased towards it. It's because just uh, that's been the look that I've been I've been liking more so for Super Saiyan. And that consistency that you had with the old Demonical Fit Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta set is going to remain consistent with Vegito as well. And that's something I'm really liking. Now, when it comes to the other faces, I don't think I'm going to go over them. You can see like a photo of Vegito with the face right over here on the screen real quick if you want to see those. But for the last accessories that actually come with this, I'm, I mean, I'm surprised that they went and included more accessories to give you the, your value for your money. But... Uh, for one of the last accessories, we've got two more. We also get a Spirit Blade um, energy effect. And this is the exact same effect that they went and did for uh, Goku Black, but they went and remolded it with a yellow plastic. Um, and now, I really like that they did it because I can see two uses for this. If you have, like, the Kong Studio Super Saiyan Goku Black, you can totally rock it with this uh, effect. But for Vegito right over here, if you want to... For me... I, I can totally see this being used like as a much easier manner of like Vegito using a spirit sword in a stop motion since it's not going to be like all over the place. I, I really like how this goes around and I think it definitely works. And for the last and final accessory that goes with this set, we do have a pair of crossed arms. So I'm going to get into those right now. So I was initially really worried about going and changing out the crossed arms on Vegito because this is a not, this is like a really expensive figure right now, and I know that they did not incorporate any mechanics where it's meant to actually go and get removed. But surprisingly, it's really easy to go and take out Vegito's arms. You, you know, you just go one like that, and just one like that, and it's really really simple. And I, I'm probably shaking out the, the the table right now because my arm is uh, hitting against it. Um, but for the actual arms, an easy way that I find to get them on is to actually go ahead and remove the little arm piece right over here. And then go and and start with this one. You just sort of twist it in a little bit like so. It's a little bit tight in there. Um, and it, and a, a couple times you will see like there is a little bit of uh, the plastic sort of getting in the way. But once once you get it, once you get in there, it, it will hold in uh, very tightly. Um, and then we go ahead and get this arm as well. You sort of twist that in. The, the, the problem is like the floating piece of the shoulder sort of gets in the way and is a little anti-productive like anti when you're trying to get that in. But once you do, go ahead and get this over the arm like that. And then you just sort of finick it, finick it around. And there you go. Just make sure everything is alright. And... Yeah, here you have Vegito with crossed arms. It's not quite as perfect of a fit where the actual molding will match around with how the arms are are sculpted, but it, looking at it from everywhere, it, it really feels like it matches, and this is just an amazing piece that they went and included 
with this set, you get the combination of the older Vegito figures from SH Figure Arts with the crossed arms and just every single form and pretty much get, th this set gives you, I feel, everything else you needed that w with the Vegito because one of the initial problems was with the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito is that we didn't get any other forms, but this right here gives you everything you need for the forms and more. I am just absolutely in love with this set and I think that you guys uh, at home, if you if you have a Super Saiyan Blue Vegito figure from SH Figure Arts, you are definitely going to go and need this set. Definitely go ahead and pick this up. I recommend it to anyone who has a Vegito figure in their collection. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the review. I'll see you guys in the comments section. Until then.